What's your little mond? So thank you for your lovely messages about my vlogs in October and you requesting for me to do more. That's really nice. So what I thought I would do is um, a weekly roundup of the things I'm doing because doing those vlogs really helped um, knit, finish knitting those socks. And I have so many projects on the go that yeah it might be a good idea might be beneficial for both of us <laughs> um if i chat through the things i'm doing so like for example today i'm recording this on a saturday i've had so many ideas for new designs and i was trying to count up how many designs i've got half finished i've got about seven <laughs> i've ignored a few others um so i've got about seven designs that need to be finished that's either they're in pieces and they need to be um, sewn together obviously edgings done things like that or I have sewn them up and I need to write the pattern for them so today I started grading a new design I should have got it I should have got it to show you it is over only over there um, but yes I was gra grading up a new design well actually it's not a new design if you've looked on my stories you'll already know what I'm talking about. Um, it's a man's jumper and it's one that I designed in, I can't remember now, did I say 2008 or 2000, maybe 2008, I can't remember, but I'll, I'll have a look and show you again, um, maybe in next week's vlog. Um, and I'm updating that, but I want the rib to meet the neck edge because I've done a, a different neck edge. And because of the different grades on the pattern, how you do the uh, pearl to knit to will vary on the different sizes. So I'm just trying to get that straight at the moment or correct at the moment. So that's one pattern that I hope to finish. So let me say that here. Um, I don't know when I'm going to put this out to you. It, could be tomorrow it could be monday it could be tuesday <laughs> um depending on how tomorrow goes so yes so that i need to do and today i've had so many people come in wanting patterns um that i haven't got and that i want to design because i always feel really disappointed when someone comes in and i haven't got a pattern they asked for especially if i've thought I want to design that and then you get people coming in asking for it so something that I did design a while ago is baby's leggings and they I need to write the pattern for that so I've knitted those up and done them and they're at home so that needs to be done uh, baby bonnets so I have got baby hats I've got nice simple um, baby hats for you to follow but I know what that woman was talking about when she wanted a baby bonnet. Something a little bit more traditional and old fashioned. And I love that look. So I need to get that done. What else? Oh, the Scandinavian jumpers. Um, loads of people have been asking for them. And crochet. So lots of you wanting crochet patterns. Again, for beginners that you're starting out and you just want something simple just to start you off because that is how you get on to do the complicated things just starting off in a nice simple pattern so those are all the to do's but what am i designing at the moment well i am taking this yarn it's my favorite at the moment so this is no mohair tweed and we've got this one which is what i did use in the sock and i'm using it with this one so those that aren't familiar with this yarn, this is 70% merino, 30% mohair. It's spun in Donegal. So it's a proper Irish tweed yarn. That's what that means. That's your Donegal, uh, authentic, gen the genuine Donegal label. Um, and I've taken these two yarns and I'm knitting them together on six millimeter needles. And I'm doing a waistcoat. Oh, I do need to get that for you, actually. So this is the back. So it's, this is in pieces. And I like knitting things in pieces. I think seams give things structure. 
um, there's nothing wrong with knitting things in the round. This, for example, is knitted in the round, um, but it doesn't give you strong structured seams. So it sort of floats a little bit on you, which is perfectly fine. But I like something with a little bit of structure and seams. And this is what this garment needs. So this is the back. And I've got the two fronts here. So this is on needles. So it all looks crazy at the moment if you're a beginner or even if you're an experienced person, a uh, knitter, <laughs> experienced person, you might be like, oh, it's all a bit scary. Um, so that is one of the fronts and that's the other front. So I need to sew them together. I wonder if I've still got it. I should have, I should have done this before. Um, that's not very good, is it? I wonder if I could edit that space out. So, this is what it's going to look like. So, in the oldie days, um, when I had to present my designs, I used to draw them out nice and neatly, colour them in. Now, because it's just me, I can do a really rough sketch of my idea and then just knit it. So that's where I'm at at the moment. So by talking, oh, I just wobbled the table. So by talking to you, hopefully next week, I'd have sewn this up and you can see what it looks like. So, um, and get it out as a pattern, write the pattern. So this um, has no edgings to pick up. So it does have edgings, if you can see from the sketch. It's got edgings and it's got buttons. On the sketch I put three buttons, there will be four buttons. But that was just what was in my head, so I just got that down. Um, and there's going to be edgings here and there's going to be armhole edgings, but they're all included in the pattern. So you don't have to pick up any stitches. So that's your armhole edging there, which is already knitted in. This is your the, the side edging, because I always like to have a bit of side edging. Lana's very excited about this. Lana, quiet. Yeah. <laughs> when I tell Lana to be quiet, she's like, okay, I will be quiet, maybe. <laughs> um, and then this is the edging here the armhole edging on the front and then this is the front edging so it's all included in the pattern and because of the way the yarn is um it's tricky to see but it's there it gives it structure um you probably see it a bit more or well, maybe if i there you go if you close up so i did the edging at the front and I do like to put an edging at the side of my garments. Um, so it just joins the seams nicely together and just gives it a bit of shape. So, oh, and then the, why you're thinking, well, if you notice what the safety pin's for, that's for the buttonholes. So then I can work out where to put the buttonhole. And the buttonholes are on this side. There you go. There are the buttonholes on that side so that one was a fun one to knit um and i want to knit another one which i am doing um so i'll show you that one see how far i get with that one for the next vlog i do next week so where uh, let's see let's do a little round up so i know what i'm doing for this week so this week i'm gonna finish doing the new man men's jumper so I'm going to finish grading that. Then I'm going to finish off this chunky uh, waistcoat um, and continue knitting the other slight version of it. Um, so that's what I'm going to do this week. I do really want to get a baby garment in there as well because I could probably finish off a bit. But then I do want to crochet. Mm, what shall I do? This week, I'm just going to finish off that chunky waistcoat and that's what I'm going to knit this week and then next week get a bit more organized um and design that baby thing okay 
so this is our, my first weekly vlog and yeah hopefully hopefully we'll see what happens what i've done next week <laughs>